This tutorial shows how to show and hide items using a button, in Hippo Animator 2.6. We've added a button and a triangle to the editor already. When we play the movie and press the button, nothing happens yet. There are two ways to hide the triangle, the first uses the timeline. Add a simple script command to the buttons on click event, go to and stop 10. We will then hide the triangle at frame 10. For this to work, we will also need to turn off autoplay in the movie properties. Add a new frame for the triangle at frame 10, and turn off visible. Now, when you test the movie and click the button, the triangle disappears. To make it reappear we will need to create another button, that returns the movie back to the first frame. Duplicate the button in the library. Then, duplicate the button in the timeline and swap for the new button. This way, the new button is exactly the same size and position as the old button. Move the new button to frame 10, and also, make the old button invisible at frame 10. Change the onclick script event of the new button to Go to and stop zero. Now, when you test the movie, it appears as if the button makes the triangle appear and disappear, when it is in fact two buttons moving the time from zero to ten and back to zero. There is a quicker way to do this using JavaScript instead of the timeline. Select the triangle and turn off use timeline in its properties, set its script ID to triangle. Select the button and change its onclick script event to triangle.visible equals not triangle.visible. In JavaScript, not is represented by an exclamation mark. When the button is pressed, if the visible property of the triangle is true, it becomes false, and if it is false, it becomes true.